Yes then guys, how are we all doing? My name is Morsi and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have got a squad builder based around a couple of the brand new rule breaker cards. So let's get straight into it. So here is the team we are checking out in today's video. There were three cards that I wanted to build a team around. Those guys being Kudu, Sigare and the brand new Jesus Corona card. This guy, by the way, looks top tier. 70,000 coins, 5 stuff, 5 stuff, 5 for 8 high medium. And the attributes are incredible. I'm not too sure where he's best suited. He's got decent pace, decent shooting stats, brilliant dribbling across the board, very well-rounded card, and fantastic stamina as well. Potentially a cam, maybe a box-to-box -box center mid, guys. We're going to try him out as a cam in this play review, or in this squad builder. But definitely high hopes for this chap. Kudus, he has a soft spot in my heart. Since his team of the week last year round, I believe it came out towards the start of the game. I had it as a super 7-foot champion. It's a fantastic card. Mohamed Kudus himself. High, high, 5'10". Four star, three star, a little bit difficult to link into teams being in the Eredivisie and Garnet and there's not too many options. I say that as that Kevin Prince Bowden that came out last week. But the man's card looks pretty decent. Definitely a chem style to boost the pace and shooting stats. The dribbling's incredible, agility balance, the passing's been super juiced as well. He looks like a super solid card. And the last man, the CDM warrior, the brick wall in front of our defense. We've got Ibrahim Sangare. Six for three, medium high. This man is a unit. Three star, four star, and looks very defensively solid. Great passes, stats as well on the card. I've got high hopes for all these boys. But the rest of the team, guys, I had to have some sort of Bundesliga influence. I always do. So we've got Neuer in goal, big Upa and Lacroix, keeping the cost down a little bit. Lacroix, super sick. And many of you guys have probably used this chap. He's basically pennies now. I packed him untradeable at the start of the game. Very, very solid card. He gets a hyperlink into Rousselon, who also gets a strong link into another rule breakers man, Diaby. Really enjoying this card so far, guys. One of my favorites. I play him as a striker. 27, 25, and 48 is very, very solid for the man especially as most of those are in foot champions and the elite division. At right back, getting a strong link into Corona, this chap does actually have himself an 82 overall road to the knockout stage card. However, he's extinct on the market on Xbox, so I had to settle for this version, but you can get a very, very solid upgrade on this chap. Let me quickly show you in concepts if I can. So if you're able to pick up this man, I'm not sure what his price range is on Xbox or PlayStation as it stands, but this is a super sick card, and of course it is upgradable. I'm not too sure how Porter was doing in the current Champions League run, but even if he doesn't get an upgrade, he's still a very, very solid card. Should be somewhat affordable and of course offers a nice strong link into Jesus Corona. And the last two places in this team, we are bringing back a man who is guaranteed at least one upgrade. He has potential to get two upgrades all the way up to an 86, I believe. Very well rounded as it stands at 82. It is Graben Birch playing for Ajax. This man, Ajax is smashed in the Champions League. So keep an eye on this guy's card. He may go up in price. However, with the market, it's so hard to predict. And to finish off the team, we've got the ever faithful, always reliable Frankie De Jong. Custom tactics, I've pretty much left it as it is, balanced across the board, 50-50. We're gonna play a 4-1-2-1-2, brackets two. I want Sangari holding down the midfield in the CDM role. Frankie and Brian at Gravenberg either side. Kudus is actually gonna be a cam. We're going to start Corona up front. I will probably try and mix it up and rotate the two of them to try and test them out in different positions throughout this uh, little squad builder, guys. And Diaby is also alongside Corona up top. And of course, the back four stays the same. So at the time recording this, guys, I'm not 100% sure how much the whole team costs across the board, but it's definitely on the affordable side. So what I'll do is tally up the, like, the totals at the end of this and leave it in the title or the description for you boys. But let's waste no time. Elite Division gameplay. Let's do it. We are currently sat 1845 in skill total. I'm yet to really play many matches this week since rewards. I've spent most of my time playing Call of Duty in the past couple of days, guys. Vanguard had come out on Friday, so I've been sessioning that a little bit. But on FIFA on the Sunday, she can relax and grind. Let's test out this squad and see how these boys hang. So what are we up against then? Game number one with the boys. It's a solid looking team. Every single team's going to be solid looking, mate. I mean, I don't know what I expect. I'm not expecting to come against, like, gold common cards. The man of Fafana and that man seems to plague me at the moment. But let's start off strong with the boys. Try and get our little shape going properly and test out some of these new rule breaker cards. Sangare. Clean up crew. Lovely bit of play from the man. Ooh, couldn't Freddy Kudus there. But so far, Sangare has a, he's got a presence about him. He's an absolute unit, to be fair, boys. Well done, Upa. Always reliable Upa Makano at the back. One of my favourite centre backs, probably my favourite centre back. Him and Kempembe, I've used in the majority of my squad builders. Uh, but so far, Upa Makano stepping up. Well done, Corona. A little give and go here with Kudus. 
Use that pace in behind. Oh, what is this? Fro Why is it frozen that position, lads? What has happened there then? Oh, Dan still on. Oh, beautiful bit of play. Boys, kudos across goal. Just couldn't get it out of his feet quick enough. Had to be a bit quicker acceleration there, lads. And we were in on goal and hopefully would have taken the lead. Sangare's there. And again, what are these little ricochets though, boys? We'll take it. Look at him over the top. Brilliant pick up that. Come on now, Corona. Ah, he's been bullied. And my opponent's had enough. A nil-nil rage quit. I don't know what he's up to there. We go again, I guess. So game number two, what are we saying? Is this going to... Yeah, okay, there we go. We're in the game. Okay, decent again. Bit of uh, Hero Keen in there. Sterling, Gabriel Jesus. Don't know how we thread that pass there. Oh, that's brilliant. Brilliant bit of play. Couldn't get the shot off. I probably could have worked it a little bit more, to be fair. Counter attacks is where we are prone to being abused. With the boys, the Wolfsburg French lads, clean up crew. Lovely stuff. Is that LaCroix bombing for? Come on. LaCroix? Mate, Diaby. Diaby, how have you not scored that? Mate, this LaCroix is still ridiculous. He's making that, isn't it? Fair play. The little ding absolutely destroyed my defence. And that man for Kia runs in behind and we go 1-0 down. Not the ideal start, boys, but still plenty of the game to go. Nice bit of play. Lovely bit of play. Corona. <sighs> got to do better there, lads. You've got to do better. Well done, Graham Beck. Lovely bit of tracking. So 1-0 down at half time. For some reason, it's a bit of a laggy game. I keep getting little lag spikes across it, but we still conceded the goal from Fakir. I feel like it's been pretty equal. We've had a couple of chances. Maybe should have found the back of the net with Corona, but we're going to keep on pushing. I've got full faith in these boys. One goal, and it's floodgate season. Well done, Graham Beck. He's put in a quality performance so far, lads. Lovely bit of play from Corona. Diaby! Big stop for the keeps. It's a great little pick out. He does feel super snappy on the ball, Mr. Corona. Hold up. So much space, Frankie. What a pick out. First touch is good. Donnarumma, mate. Get in the bin. Kudus. Yes, the boys. The agility and the balance there. He kept the ball close to his feet. Kept the composure. I'm almost fluffed it. Almost ran to the bender, but the left footed shot in the corner. Another lag spike. I don't know what is going on, but we'll take the goal. Much deserved. And it's game on. Sagare, man. I'm enjoying this card. He's that big bully in the middle of the park that every team needs. Decent passing range as well. Oh, lucky. Tried that a little bit too much there. Mate, Gravenbeck has been class. This one with an upgrade is going to be scary. Honestly, if you want to think about building a team around this chap, definitely invest in him soon. Go on, Corona. That's ambitious, but make it. Come on, the boys. 15 to go. Still in this game. One all. We can sneak a winner here, boys. The lag is driving me insane, boys. Kudos is coming off for Carrasco. A little bit of fresh legs in the park, guys. Nothing wrong with making a sub. It is what it is, boys. The new red player pick, Carrasco. I got lucky enough to get a decent red player pick for once. Oh, that's a great goal. Can't believe it. Just like that, boys. Nothing but domination in the second half, and we concede to a cheeky Robbie Key. The man's quality. Neuer, questionable, probably could have stuck your arm out a little bit further, mate, but it is what it is, boys. We go again. This game, by the way, what is up with these little lag spikes? So we go again. Let's hope for a little less lag spikes in this one. Okay, it doesn't get much better than this. The defence you see every week. Mbappe, fucking, what's his name at left wing? Ginola, that lad. Some other mad looking cards. This is the ultimate test here. This is what we're all about. Test out these boys against the best in the game. Let's see if we come away with a W. Oh, that's a lovely bit of play. Kudus on the overlap. Use your pace, lad. Gavin Burke's in space in the middle, you know. We've picked him out a little thick on. Oh, I fluffed it. What am I doing? I should have taken it down. We had so much time. 
decent bit of movement though. Gravenberg, by the way, has been one of the standout players. Him and Kudus, the IX boys, are saucy. Well done, LaCroix. Absolutely bomber clattered him. We move now, boys. Go on, Kudus. LaCroix is still a tank, lads. He's still a tank. He's still a very usable card as well. Oh, the boys. We'll take that any day of the week. Nice bit of play from Kudus Diaby. May have got a little bit lucky in there, but Jesus Corona steps up and gets himself the goal number one of this squad build. A decent finish from the man. Positive sign so far from the boys. Corona does feel very, very nice on the ball. Gravenberg. This man is an absolute stallion. He's a warrior in the middle of the park. So much space. Corona, Diaby. Oh. Gravenberg. Beautiful from you. Oh, lucky lads. Decent bit of play as well. The RBA passes, guys, are so insane this year round. Madonu for Mikado. Get in the bin, Davish. In the luck. Come on now, boys. We move. Little carrot attack magic here. Corona's dancing on him. Rush the pass though. So we lead 1 0 at half time. Very, very nice goal from Jesus Corona himself. Solid performance from the boys. My opponent's team is pretty damn crazy. Ginola, when he gets going, it's so hard to tackle the man, but we've handled him quite well so far. It's going to be a tough second half, but I'm feeling confident the boys. Overall, massively impressed with Gravenberg. I can't believe how good he is, and the fact that he's almost guaranteed an upgrade and he's about 30, 40k. It's mind blowing. Let's get Manafa involved. The man has been a bit decent so far. A little give and go maybe with Gravenberg. Lovely. And Corona. Go on, Corona. Get him behind there. He has no right getting on the end of that. Super unlucky not to get past Kimpembe as well. But Manafa is putting in a stint for a casual little gold rare card. Hanging with some of the sweatiest boys in the scene. Oh, what are these lag spikes, boys? What is going on with FIFA tonight? Hold up. We've just lagged into oblivion. And Frankie De Jong is in, boys. Rebounds! Navas! I do struggle a lot in those kind of situations where I'm running in on goal and my opponent's bringing the keeper out. I go for the dink sometimes and they stand their ground. But it seems to be, whichever way I go, the keeper combats it. <sighs> I'm really, this lag, I'm struggling with this lag, boys. I'm not going to lie to you. Grab a Burke. Upa Meccano's there. Well done, lads. Let's go. Diaby over the top. Kudus has picked him. It's a lovely first touch. Marquinhos, I forget, is absolutely crap, lads. And his defence is back like that. We go again, though. Back to the drawing board. Nice give and go. Boys in the middle. Kim Pembe's there. Watch Mbappe's through ball. See, what is up with those deflections there? In the real world, there's no way he's deflecting that far. Ah, oh, Kudus tracking back like a warrior. Oh, boys, I'm not going to lie. If we hold on for the W here, I will be dreaming. It's so ambitious, though, especially with the way the game's lagging. That is beautiful for De Jong. Quality performance of Frankie. And we have one more attack left in this game, but the game is decided no. It's decided to lag. Oh, unbelievable. In the 89th minute, the super sub Carrasco comes in and absolutely bags one. That was all Frankie the Young, though. Pulling the strings. They'll give and go again, Carrasco. Mate, this lag. Just get, get this game over and done with, boys, and get me off FIFA. So a huge win in game number two. The boys clutched up against some of the best in the game. Messi, Mbappe, Ginola. It doesn't matter who these are boys are, are playing against, lads. They're going to step up. Corona with the man of the match. Big performance from the boys. 
Dominated shot wise, but honestly, really solid performance all round. Happy days. So there we have it guys, we end on a fantastic win in the Elite Division. That gameplay was truly testing my mental sanity. The little lag spikes across the games, I was losing it a little bit. But apart from that, the boys' overall performance were really damn solid. These two fullbacks, man, I mean 77 overall gold rare cards, especially, I mean we are still in the early cycle of the game, but they do get massively bullied like up against Mbappe, Ginola. But really solid performances from Wilson and Roussel on either side. Defensively, LaCroix can still hang with the best. It's expected. Look at the man's stats. They're ridiculous. It's a point, actually. How much does this man cost at the moment? About 2k coins for this card. I'm speechless. If you don't have a lot of coins and you want a really cheap team, go for these Bundesliga boys, man, because they're, they're insane. Corona stepped up in the last game and got himself a cheeky goal and a nice assist as well. Brilliant performer, really enjoyed this card in all honesty. The pace, he feels quicker than what you see on the card here. Shooting was consistent, the pass in the link of play was top tier. He feels so damn smooth on the ball. And one thing you also get with the man is the kind of consistency. Being five star, five star. If you're a skiller, you've got the skill moves. If you're not a skiller, it's decent to have very nice weak foot in the attacking areas. You can cut it on his left or his right foot, he's going to be super solid all round. For 70k coins, especially as you can get a nice link into the upgraded version of Wilson Manafa. Definitely worth the coins. Grab and Burke, man. Top baller. If I'm literally going to keep this card. I spent about 30k on him, I believe. He's in about that 35 to 40k price bracket at the moment. Guaranteed upgrades. He's a, he's a quality lad. De Jong is always very consistent and fantastic. Kudus gets the goal in one of the games as well. 13.7k coins. As I said in the little intro to this one. The only issue is linking this man in. But if you want to go the Eric Debezi route, you want a bit of fun, you got a Ghanaian icon like Essien maybe, definitely a solid shout. And of course, the link between Kudus and Gravenberg is beautiful. And then Sangare, the CDM warrior, six foot three unit holding down that midfield, no complaints at all. He was in the right place, he made fantastic interceptions. Carrying the ball forward, he did feel pretty quick as well. Not super agile, but you expect that from a man who's six foot three holding down the centre defence in midfield. Passing range was great, he felt defensively solid. The strength is there, definitely worth the price. But once again with this man, you're going to struggle with the links. PSV and Ivory Coast, there is that new Cornet card, and I guess Kessie. Three Ivory Coast boys got rule breakers in our team too, by the way. So there are options there, but if you if you fits into your team, guys, let me know. I'm intrigued to know what you think of these boys if you used any of them. But overall, massive fun using this squad, guys. And I'd be more see if you did enjoy. Please drop me a like, drop me a comment. Let me know what you think of these boys, and I'll catch you very soon for another video. Take it easy.